Good afternoon, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I don't normally post videos. I usually just watch them and uh, weigh in on videos and then pray. Um, but I feel really compelled to share what the Lord um, showed with me two nights ago during my time in prayer with Him. Um, during my time in prayer with Him, I saw the hand of God and the hand of God moved um, and as he moved it away I saw a picture of the United States of America and I was like okay Lord so he showed it to me again I saw his hand and then he moved it away from covering the United States of America so I said okay Lord what is, what is this specifically that you're showing me and the only thing that he said to me at that moment was, is they hate me. And when he said that to me, it struck me in my gut. It kicked me. And I started weeping. And a fire came over my body. And the feeling that I had from him saying they hate me was so intense <laughs> and I, I just started weeping. I couldn't stop crying and I said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry. I said, not all of them hate you. Not everybody in America hates you. I was like, I love you, Lord. I love you. And I just started intercessoring over that, Lord. You know, I, I stood in that spot of those who don't love him, for those who do reject him. And I, I said, give them a chance, Lord. But time is up. Time is ending. And there are a lot of things coming here that people are not prepared for. And we've got to get the message out. And, you know, he said, them as a nation, United States of America as a nation, as a whole. They, they say they don't need me. They say that they can do it without me, that they, they, they don't need me to help them. And that's the attitude that the United States gives off. And he's right. I mean, there are, I mean, come on, there are even Christians in this world who think that that God has nothing to do with our government, that he doesn't belong in our government. And that is not biblical, y'all. That is not biblical at all. And I've been really studying, studying the book of Revelation, and I've been just paying attention to all of these signs, all of these signs that are lining up with the book of Revelation, with the seals being opened. Everybody needs to wake up. Your time is short. And I'm talking to believers. I'm talking to people who are sitting in America, who are sitting comfy in their homes, watching their TV shows. I'm talking about people who claim they know him who are asleep. Wake up. So I just start praying, Lord. I just start praying for mercy, 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 mercy. Have mercy on us, Father God. Extend your period of grace over the United States for as long as you can, Father God. That way maybe we can save one more. Maybe we can get the message out one more that you can save one more, God. And this is my prayer, you guys. I just have, I've just been praying for mercy because the time is coming where things are going to get worse. You think they're bad now? They're not. It's going to get worse. More disasters are coming here. And I'm trembling. It's just, it's, <laughs> I just can't say it enough. I can't say it enough. And so as I'm laying down and I'm just, I'm crying and I'm weeping and I'm, I'm praying to him and I'm asking him for grace and mercy, he says, pray that my people wake up. Pray that they come out of their slump slumber. So that's what my prayer is, that people are woken up violently out of their slumber, that it will hit them in the face, that they will realize what's going on. Get your houses in order. 
Get yourself in order. Get your home in order. Stop looking at everybody else around you and get yourself in order. It is important. Teach your kids how to pray. Teach them. If you ever wanted to show your child how to love, show them the love of God and teach them how to pray. And I say this with the utmost love for all of you. I speak out of love for people that don't even know him. I say this with the most genuine heart. I just felt like that I just really needed to share this with you guys. I don't really have another way of, of getting this word out other than sh sharing it on social media, I suppose, and talking to every, you know, people in everyday life. But that hand, that covering, that protection over the United States, it's being removed. It's going to be removed. I don't have a timeline of it, but I've weighed this in with um, some other very respectable people and they've received the same thing. So I'm just asking that you, you come to your knees with me. Spend your time with him. Instead of watching your favorite TV shows, start spending more time with him. Even if it's an hour a day, start spending your time with him. Pull him into you. Let him hold your hand because there's going to be a time where you're going to need to hear his voice. You're going to need to be able to hear every instruction and direction from him literally on what next move you'll need to make because things are coming. We are in the last days. We are in it. Here we are. And it's happening more rapidly and rapidly. Rapidly. I love you guys. I pray for you. I pray for this country. I pray for this world. I pray for all the things that are going on in this world. And I bless you. And I just pray that you wake up.